something happened that made me very, very sad. Not quite long, about a week or two. Some people were involved in some kind of political crisis and were taken to the hospital. Now, what actually happened at the hospital really got me really, really bewildered. That a medical doctor got himself involved in medical negligence by refusing to attend to a patient brought to his hospital simply because she was wearing the APC regalia. Uh, sorry, I mean the PDP and other party regalia. That was totally uncalled for. That you that you are being in charge of the life of people, you not take it personal simply because the person is wearing the 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 cloth, or should I say the symbol of another party that you detest. That is not the symbol of one Nigeria. But anyway, it's very, very simple. Because most die-hard fans, like I said in my last video, that Nigerians have taken politics into a do or die affair. And we learn from the leaders. If our leader can be a leader that have chosen not to accept defeat, definitely the followers will be like their leader. Because if I should go back to history, 2015 election, the current president actually said, either I win or something bad happens. That means if he doesn't win, something bad will happen. Now that's the kind of leader that other people, when you follow him, you behave like that kind of leader. A leader that cannot accept defeat. You take matters very, very serious. You won't actually want, you won't like any other person that supports anything aside from what you are supporting. Now that is for the APC that I just said now. Let's go down to PDP. During the primaries election, the PDP presidential candidates, they told him, what if you don't win the primaries? What did he say? I always win the primaries. What do you think? So that's another evidence that this kind of person have chosen not to accept defeat. If peradventure he lost the primaries, then there would have been a very, very terrible coalition amongst themselves. They are not even united amongst themselves. Let me go to the APC again, the presidential candidate. They said, don't you think you are too old to rule Nigeria? What did the APC president and presidential candidate say? He said, it is my turn to win and nobody can stand in my way. All these things happened in the news, everybody heard it. So that is like an inherited, in, in, an inherited government where corruption keeps flowing. Now let me go to Peter Obi right now. When they ask him, what if you don't win the presidential election? How would you feel? He said, I will not feel bad because winning election is not by force. It is not composite that I must win. I'm, I can only come out to contest and show people what I can do. But if you don't vote for me, it is not a do or die. Make the comparison within yourselves right now. The first person said, it is my turn, as if it's your father's business. The second person said, I always win because you feel you are rich. Then the third person said, it is not compulsory that I must win. It's very, very simple for you to make this analysis within yourself now. Are you going to choose for two people that have taken politics on that level that if I don't win, something bad will happen? Or one person that I've chosen that I will unite Nigeria whether I win or I don't win. He has advised his followers not to cause problems. But somebody actually advised his followers that if I lose this election, destroy anybody that come across you. You can imagine the transfer of aggression. Is that the kind of leader both of us want? Mm -mm. We want someone to unify this entire country. If you think I'm joking, trace down history back to Anambra and see what Peter Obi has done so far. I don't think there's any governor in Nigeria so far that have done what he did. Giving your, your phone number to every head boy in the university, someone who is promoting education, gave people laptop and all those things. That is very, very, in fact, it is a sound mind that can carry out such task. So people like me, I actually have chosen to vote for the right person. Would you want you all oh, to get yourself engulfed in the ostentation and the lifestyle of all these our fake politicians? Do the right thing and your future children will be proud of you. So if I were you, not just vote. Let us start from here. Comment, share, invite friends. Let everybody see that right now Nigerian has attained the stone age. In fact, this is not longer a stone age, this is a diamond age because we've gotten what we've actually prayed for. Thank you very much. Please continue sharing, and I'll see you all again in our next video.